Hey guys and welcome back to my let's play of Sonic Heroes for the Nintendo GameCube. It is now time for the rail levels of Super Hard Mode and there's one particular part of Bullet Station that I dread every single time I get to these levels in Super Hard Mode. But before that we have Rail Canyon and again as I was saying before you think that in Super Hard Mode Especially after you already went through the Team Dark section in Grand Metropolis. That you would also start in the Team Dark section in both of these levels. But you don't. You only go through the, t the parts that Team Sonic go through. And sadly that one-up balloon is no longer there. And that's a damn shame. But yeah, you'd think that these levels would be of Team Dark's length. But they're really not. I mean, the extra stuff added on... They pretty much can be, but you know, in terms of like the actual distance covered, you think they would you'd start where Team Dark started, but you actually don't. And I always found that odd. Like if Grand Metropolis they added on the Team Dark section, why didn't they do it for everything else? And that was close. <laughs> Forgot that that's what was beneath that barrel. At least I think it's a barrel. I don't know what else it would be. So there were a lot of speed boosters on that first section, so you have that at the very least and get through a bit faster. Just gotta make sure you don't jump from rail to rail whilst doing that. But I swear, look how fast these things are. I swear these things make you go faster. I forgot about that part, about how much faster you go. But yeah, Christ, these things make you go really fast here. Okay, that was worried there because I couldn't actually see him. Aw, oh, there's a team blasting in there. I mean, I have team blasting already, but still. I like having a team blasting in there. Let it be said, I do not have uh, these levels memorized nearly as much. You know, because obviously I don't play super hard mode that as much. I play, I have to play through every other level at least two times. So I can learn the layouts of everything for each team, but I don't remember Super Hard Mode because once I'm done here, I don't really have any reason to go back to Super Hard Mode. Once I'm oh, I hence why I forgot about that. It's like once I'm done Super Hard Mode, I finish with Sonic Heroes because like I played the I've played the game so much now. I don't I don't want to keep playing. I'm done. I I want to finish playing the game now. So I don't normally play and play the game any further after Super Hard Mode. It's a really long pole. Yeah, and that, that's the. I really wish those poles would rise up faster, but no. You have to wait. <laughs> that was way too early. Right, I'm gonna hold forward. Right, so it's a shortcut. It'll also allow me to go right over that flapper. That was lucky. Yeah, look how much faster these things send you. I'm waiting for the characters to just go right through the rails. But like they're going so fast. And in Sonic Heroes, that wouldn't exactly be out of place. I don't know why they make you go so fast here. Like, this does not happen at any other point in the game. Yeah, they make you go fast. Look how fast they're going. I'm going ahead of the trains. But they have some kind of rubber band AI. But why am I so much faster here? I don't even know how I landed on that rail there. But I missed what I think was a one-up, sadly. And that's this that saddens me. Let's take the left one. I don't think it's that much faster, but it is a bit faster. Depends whether or not you decide to uh, stop one of the things if there are any enemies there. Being super hard mode, there probably is, but I don't think I've ever gone that way in super hard mode. If I did, it would have been like the first time. I actually do remember the first time, because uh, what I did was, uh, uh, I knew that sort of thing was going to happen. What I did with the original Super Hard Mode was, I wanted to finish the final story to see, or, you know, like wait to the end of the credits to see what the game will tell me to do next. Oh, I, okay, I remember how this works now. I have to hit these two switches, and now I'll activate the other one which raises up the pole. There we go. 
So I literally, I closed my eyes to make sure I couldn't see what the question mark was that had been bugging me for such a long time to know what was under there. And I spent so much time getting all those A ranks for the first time. After already being so confused for so long wondering, why have I not got that last, that last thing yet? I think I'd gotten all the emblems by that point as well. I had 119 emblems. I hadn't gotten all the A ranks. It's just like, where is the final story? And then, by accident, I just decided, you know, I enjoy continually making the character icon spaz out in challenge mode. I'm going to see if I can do that in story. And then I accidentally discovered, oh, there's a final section just off to the right. It's hidden off screen. You know, I hadn't gone back to the story modes. I'd, ne I'd never seen it say, defeat last evil. The last thing I saw it say was get all chaos emeralds. <laughs> Why did I... T I was trying to switch formations and that seemed to uh, glitch out the rail switching there. So uh, that was by accident. And then I saw it said, and after being amazed by what I was just going through, uh, and then say get all A ranks, and that was a frustrating business. And after that, I I closed my eyes. This fan is definitely going, and it isn't spinning any faster, so I don't know why I need to hit that. And then I just closed my eyes, went back to the last story, just to play through the boss, and, watch, and went to the credits just to see what it said at the end. That's what I saw what it said. Clear super hard mode. I was like, what? But I wasn't I wasn't like that. But, yeah, I was like, oh my god, there's more. I still I mean I, I imagined that I was going to get something for getting for clearing super hard mode, but that was not what I was expecting. I've now got to play the game again at a higher difficulty. You know, I know I quickly found out it wasn't that bad, but really the only issue I had and I really hate how they do that. Yeah, I found out that the only real issue was the fact that I couldn't save without leaving the level. And that's where you have to really watch out for those attacks. I hate those attacks so much. Yeah, I knew that was a bad idea. Right, I'm going to ignore that. I should be okay when it comes to um, lives. I'm clearly in that speed booster. Uh, some, somehow I extended my flight gauge. Or I think, at least I think I did. Right, let's actually try and finish the level now. Get no rings during any of this. Finally. That's a good thing too, because that was a very cheaply placed egg form right there. It's a good thing I was to the side. All right. The next step we have Bullet Station, a level that I don't like. And it's all because of one particular area, right in the middle of the stage. It's like, well, roughly in the middle of the stage. It's right, it's just before the first cannon. Well, not, not just before. But any, well, we'll see it anyway when we get there. Okay, I definitely need jump there, so I don't know why that happened. Um, these are definitely the stages that live up to the name of Super Hard Mode. I wonder why the rest of the game does. Why doesn't the rest of Super Hard Mode do that? That's not how you're supposed to do that, but anyway. And these are these things are the reason I hate this stage. Just got a one up. Hey guys, I'm in the I'm I'm between you two. Seriously, why are you aiming that way? Yeah, I really I really hate this stage. It's always my least favorite part of Super Hard Mode. Just because I get so tense. And you know, I, I don't normally have that much trouble with the jump you have to make. But it makes me so tense because the timing is really awkward. I I have died plenty of times and I really could have used that power core. Okay. 
do want to try and kill enemies at first, though, just so you can level yourself up. Yeah, a few enemies will give you power cores, but you never know. You can get something useful. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Sonic. Do we really need all of that straight right now? Because the hint rings are gone. There's no hint rings. I think there might be like one really early on in Seaside Hill somewhere. I'm not sure. But other than that, there's really no reason to have these hint rings here. Yeah, this is, this is another weird one. So that's a rail canyon. Jump in here. Oh, no, not quite a right rail canyon. We only need to hit one. I think you have to do it for these ones. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Why couldn't the original stage be like that? You know how long I was stuck there for? Too long. Much longer than I should have been. You know, the puzzle was pretty simple. You know. And, uh... I don't even remember how I felt back then. It was so long ago that I'll have to describe it in sepia tone. Right, here's the part. I hate this part. I freaking hate this part. I'm not even at level 3. So I can't even just do the tourney, the uh, homing attack. Because occasionally when you're stood on these things, it gimps your jump and it acts as... Uh, see that part right there, I hate that part. It gimps your jump and it acts as though you're in the air sometimes, so you'll go straight into a homing attack. And that can happen on any version. But that is... That is my least favorite part. Like, it may look, it looks relatively simple, but when you're running along that last, that second one, you really don't have that much time left by the, by the point you get to the end. And of course, just like in your PS2 version, you gotta make sure you don't go into the cannon and then randomly die for no reason. Unless it is possible to happen in uh, other versions, I don't know. So again, I, I encountered it quite a lot of times in the PS2 version. And then the, that just sort of stopped for a number of years. And I never experienced it for a while. And then all of a sudden, like two years ago, it decided to come back with a vengeance. And uh, wasn't a fan of that. Alright, come on. You next. You next. I always like to light speed dash along that thing. I don't know why. Why can't I jump in there in fly formation? I really don't get why. What is wrong with jumping in there in flight formation? Right, watch out for these spike cannonballs. The balloons do hide them. As does your actual view. They're not that easy to spot. Ah, so, what the hell? That one was in the middle. As was that one. Oh, that's nice. They're nice and cheap. You're going to get hit by them regardless. Nice. Very nice. Because I was, they were clearly in the middle and I was to the side. There was nothing I could do to avoid that. Unless you're supposed to hold left. But when, you're, when they're in the middle, it shouldn't matter. Alright. Can I avoid it? Ooh, just narrowly avoiding the spike, the uh, spear there. What, did I just, just damage that thing in flight formation? Ugh. <laughs> I don't like the light dash in this game and I try and make you use it so much. I really hate the placement of that thing as well. But we don't need to worry about that. I think it leads to probably an extra life, I imagine. I have done it, but there's no point really. Thankfully, when enemies are in positions like that, they do go down in one hit, even by just jumping on them, rather than the usual three. There's so many capsules here. It's on fire! Don't worry, these things are safe to stand on. You wouldn't think they'd be safe to stand on, but they are. 
And I just narrowly avoided death there because the kill zone really isn't that far down. You don't have to go that much further beneath the train to uh, hit the kill zone. And when it comes to kill zones, nothing will ever be crazy gadget. Where I missed the rail, managed to somehow do a light speed dash despite despite the rings being above the rail. So I don't know how I was close enough to do it. But I missed the rail. Did a light speed dash to land me back on the rail, but I'd already hit the death zone. So I just sort of gr I was grinding down the rail as normal, but then the level would just reset. I was like, oh my god, that counted as a death? I still hit the dead zone even though I technically saved myself? So that is really annoying, but also really hilarious. Like, I, don't, I don't know if that counts as a glitch or not, but it's like, that was funny. <laughs> like, I, that was really funny. I, that, that is actually one of my favourite... My favourite gaming memories. That is actually one of the best. Didn't make a lick of sense, but I don't care. That, I don't care if, if my death is comical. And that was comical. Five of these things now. I don't know if it's a specific one, but when I see multiple target switches, I always hit all of them anyway. Two team blast, and we go for a one-up. Nope. Ooh. So I don't know if that's a single switch or not. But... Okay, <laughs> I'll jump to save my jump to save my buddies. Sorry, tails. <laughs> oh, thank God! I thought that because tails was captured, that meant the cannon wasn't going to activate. I genuinely thought that's what happened there. Though I must say, Sonic, you are much further ahead of the camera than you should be. Don't know what was going on there. Oh, I was not even on the light speed dash trail for victory. <laughs> okay, so you're back now. I don't know how you came back, but you came back. Grab that. And there we go. I would say it's much easier now. But Lost Jungle is not easy. <laughs> At least Frog Forest is. As long as the flower doesn't glitch out again. But... I will see you guys then.